What's up guys? Welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. This review would not have been possible without my friend Peter Grocott. So thank you very much for trading me this figure man. Uh, this guy was impossible to find in Australia for use that. Know my pain. Um, but yeah, I finally have a loose Plagueis. So thank you so much for that man. And let's get this review done. Ooh, this guy looks pretty sweet. So there's his... Uh, so this is Darth Sidious's um, uh, master, pretty much. He's referenced a little bit in Star Wars Episode 3. Um, Darth Plagueis the Wise, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Sorry if I'm wrong, I haven't really... I just, just really want to do this review really quick, so I haven't done any looking into the backstory and refreshing my memory sort of thing that I usually do. But yeah, so I literally opened this guy out of the, out of the uh, package like five minutes ago, and he's just too cool, I've just been... You know, checking him out is just too awesome. So there you have his head sculpt. I like how his uh, head's all like cracked and Sith looking. Awesome red eyes. Uh, where is my trusty little torch that I always use? It's got to be somewhere. There it is. I just want to show you his eyes. There you go, that looks a lot better. That is sweet. And, uh, favorite thing of this figure, obviously, is the staff. So this thing is crazy big. Oh, getting a phone call. I'll be back in a sec. Alright, I wouldn't have answered that, but it's my brother and we always talk about figures anyway, so. So yeah, back to back to the figure review one. So this is obviously, as you know, a two-part staff. So you can take the uh, lightsaber out of the staff. So let's have a look at the lightsaber hilt. It's pretty cool. Ridge and has the uh, little pin in the end there for uh, that. Sits in there. So that's really, really cool. Really like that. So really, really nice. And this, yeah, this thing is... It's um, a lot taller than the figure. Let me just put it back together and I'll show you it. Next to the figure. <laughs> and there's a good inch or so out of the uh, screen. So there. That's pretty crazy. But no, I really like it. Okay, on to the actual figure now. Let's uh, disrobe him. First thing you'll notice is he is skinny as shit. But that's just his race and that's what makes him look so cool. Oops, in my opinion, I really like that. Now he's got these big, long, hanging hands that like come down to his knees. So that's pretty, pretty funny, pretty cool, I like it. Does have a vest which is removable, I'm pretty sure. I don't really want to take mine off, but uh, actually, no, not removable. It's joint underneath there. So I uh, thought it was going to be removable, but nope. So let's have a look at the sculpt of this guy. Really cool. Almost has like a Starkiller looking vest on. I like that. I like that. Arms nice and twiggish. Big hands as well, which look cool. Down he has a oops, nice little belt there. And he's got gold detailing on the front of his pants. And these awesome boots. Really, really cool. Also, I forgot to mention. Oops. Has a obviously a removable head, and he does have a uh, like a breather on. I can't be bothered to take it off right now because my camera is going to die soon. So thank you so much, Peter, for hooking me up, man. Really appreciate it. This guy was not going to be found in my country by me, at least not in my dead end figure town. So thank you so much for hooking me up, man. And you know, Star Killer pack. Well, it's all packaged and right here, ready to go. Woo. So, that'll be heading to you soon, my friend. 
So thank you, appreciate it. Thanks for viewing guys and thanks for all the new subscribers and thanks for liking this video. Peace out, catches.